Hi, I'm Blake Wisdat, and I'm the inventor of the Earth Box. In 1992, we had one of the hardest rains I've ever experienced as a farmer. We had 19 inches of rain, and out of those 19 inches of rain, it completely drowned in my fall crop of tomatoes. I remember so well going home to my wife and I said, Virginia, before I die, I'm going to see if I can build me a box that will not drown. And so I got interested in what we call the earth box today. It gives me a tremendous amount of pleasure in my older years to think we could build a box and ship this box all over the world and help children and people grow food. To me, that's the number one job in life is to grow food. Now I want to show you how this box works and what we finally came up with. This is the inside of this box. It's a completely molded box. It's a lifetime box. We firmly believe that this box will last for a lifetime, 30, 40 years. We have an overflow hole. I think I got my finger in the overflow hole right now. See my finger wiggling in here? And that's where the water overflows. What this box will hold is three gallons of water, two cubic feet of soil, and has a length of approximately 30 inches by 15 inches by 11 inches wide. So it's a good sized box in, in, in every sense of the word. What's so interesting right here is this floor that we have that goes in the box. And there are 967 holes, believe it or not, in this screen. If I made the hole too big, the soil would fall through it. If I made it too small, I didn't get enough oxygen or air. This is the only place in this box that the water and the soil touch each other or meet each other is this corner and this corner. So they're the wet corners. And the water will, through capillary action, come up through this corner and flow this direction in this box. It'll never flow back toward the wet side. It always flows from the wet to the dry. And so when I found out that I could make the box work and make the water in that box run any direction I wanted to, I knew I could make this box successful. Because I could put all my fertilizer in this box at one time and it would not burn my plant. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how this screen goes into this box because this is the thing that makes this box successful. I take this screen and just drop it down in the bottom like that, fill it in right here. I take a tube that I have right here. This tube is going to go into this box, and this is where you're going to water this box from. You're not going to water it from the top, you're going to water it down this tube. Up here on my left hand, I have the tube, and the tube is where you will water this box from. The water will run down this tube, go into the reservoir, it will hold three gallons of water, and then it will run out the overflow hole. I'm going to pick the water up right here, and you might see it running in here right now. I'm having to look down at that tube, see it going in there. It will hold three gallons of water. I'm not going to put that much water in it right now, but you get the idea. Now what I'm going to do is pick this soil up and dump it in here very fast on top of this box so it will not fall through the holes. I'm going to just lift it up and I call it, dump it in here like this right here. Now I'm going to spread it out. I, I, dump it, I dump it full when I pour it. Now I'll place it down. You notice I put a lot of soil in this box. Get this right here out of the way. Now I'm going to, next thing I'm going to do, I tell everybody this is something that's very important. I play in the dirt. Anytime I dump this soil and I planted hundreds and hundreds or thousands of these boxes, I'll smooth it out, smooth it out. And then I like to tell everybody that this is the nicest time of all in this box. I'm going to make this box become alive, believe it or not. I'm going to take my hand and extend my fingers here and I'm going to push straight down. Remember that square where the water and, and the soil meet and that makes a wick right here? I push it down two times, come over here and take my fist down and go straight down in this corner right here and right here, pack it up, and now this box is alive. There's water, there's air, and there's soil, and the water will come up through capillary action and flow toward me. So those are those things that will not change at all. I know exactly what's taking place in that box now, and because of that, I know now where to put my fertilizer. I'm gonna wet this box just a little bit more we have already have water in the bottom of the reservoir, but I'm gonna wet the top of it just a little bit to settle it down right now. Just like that right here. If I could use a little more water, but for this demonstration, this is exactly what I wanna do. Now I shape the box right here, pack it down just a little bit gently. Then I'm gonna put more soil in this box. There we are. The next step after we've done that is to put dolomite or liming material. I like to put my dolomite at the top two inches of the soil. I don't put it all the way through the box. I'll take this, and I notice that I've scattered it all the way across the top of this soil right here, just like this. Now I'm going to rub this dolomite in. Sometimes I, I don't even usually wet the soil until I rub it in like this. I just take my fingers and rub it into, into, into the soil. It works very, very well like this. And it's all incorporated into the box. This is my bag of fertilizer right here. A little over a pound and a half of fertilizer in this particular package right here. It's a 
six, eight, ten. It's not a magic fertilizer at all. A lot of good fertilizers on the market, but this will make 50 pounds of tomatoes if I put the tomato fertilizer in the right place. I'm gonna come over here and put my fertilizer, believe it or not, over here. Now watch me pour this fertilizer on this box right here. Isn't that pretty? See it? Can you see it? I hope you can because that's what grows this plant right here. If I put it down deep, it'll burn my plant. But right here, that fertilizer is perfectly safe. Now we're going to put the top on this box. We have a plastic top here. It has a black side and a white side. Usually we use the black side. That makes it a little bit warmer. We come up to this knob right here and put it in like this right here. Come across it like this. Bring it down. Stretch it out. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. I know everything is going on in that box right now. The water is flowing this way in that box toward the tube. All of the fertilizers on this side right over here. We have a top on. It can rain 100 inches of rain in this box right now. It would not affect this box at all. This box is now ready for the tomato plant. We just got to come over here and take it. Cut us a hole through the plastic right here. Works very well. And this is where this tomato is going to spend the rest of his life right here. There it is, right here. Then we're going to cut another hole over here. Very simple. Get where you enjoy this very much. There we are. Now this is the tomato plant we're going to put in this box right here. This is a very fine hybrid tomato plant. I'm going to dig a hole right here now with my hand and push the soil out of the way and push it down like this. And this root will settle right down to the bottom of this hole and it'll be a beautiful plant. Come down, push it down in the ground like this. There he's set in that box right there. Now we're going to plant the second plant right here. This is our other beautiful tomato plant. We made us a good hole right here to put this plant down into. We're going to drop him down, push him down like that. And then I'll take a little bit of water and pot water that plant in. There she comes. We'll wet this one over here too a little bit more. And there we have a box that should give us 50 pounds of tomatoes, believe it or not. Rain can't hurt it. We're going to use the least water as possible to use for this box. And we're going to enjoy those tomatoes in about, oh, I would say 75 days.